I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is all about how to be confident. Now I didn't want this to turn into a long rambly video about how I became confident or you know anything like that because to be honest I'm not confident all the time and I know that a lot of you guys feel the same as well. I get lots of emails from you guys telling me that you wish you could make videos, you wish you could be more confident and that you see me or maybe other YouTubers and you just don't know how they get the confidence to do it and things like that. But I think confidence is a, a strange thing. You think someone has it because they can make videos or they can maybe get up on stage and sing or they can make a speech in front of lots of people but that doesn't necessarily mean they're confident on the inside. So basically what I've done is I've come up with a list of tips and tricks on how to be more confident and I'm going to kind of go along with you and take on board these tips that I've kind of worked out for myself as well because I am not as confident as I may portray myself to be in these videos um, and it's hard sometimes, especially in different situations that you're not comfortable with. A comfortable situation for one person could be a situation that's totally out of another person's comfort zone. If you follow these, then hopefully it will help you to become more confident and I hope it helps and I hope you enjoy it. First of all, you need to get a notebook, a piece of paper, a bit of scrap paper, whatever you want, and a pen. And you need to write down three things that you dislike about yourself. It could be anything from the way you look, the thing that makes you feel least comfortable and confident about yourself. Whatever it personally is for you, write it down. So my three would be, the first one is that I look really young for my age and sometimes I feel like I don't get taken seriously. Um, people have said that they think I look maybe 15, 16 before and I'm actually 23. So um, even though people tell me that when I'm older I'll appreciate it, at the age of 23 it's not perhaps great being told you're, you look 15 because it makes you feel more immature and younger than you are. I'm sure there's plenty of mature 15 and 16 year olds out there but when you're 23 you do feel slightly different. But I'm sure when I'm 30 if someone tells me I look 23 then I'll happily take that as a compliment. But yeah that's something that makes me feel a little bit awkward in social situations because I feel like maybe I'm not taken as seriously as I want to be. The second is probably my height. I'm 5'2", five, 5'3", five, and I'd probably like, really like to be a little bit taller, um, and again, that kind of contributes to the not being taken seriously as much, because being shorter, you probably look younger, like you've still got some growing to do, but I'm not going to grow anymore, so that's two. The third one is probably that I could get a bit paranoid that people don't like me. It's always been like a bit of a bad personality trait that I've had, and I, I worry that somebody doesn't like me when perhaps they think, well... I don't really even know her to not like her, um, you know, it's just like a stupid little thing. These three things that you write down just don't have to be like superficial, like weight or height or age, things like that. They can be like personality things as well. So once you've written those down, you need to get a bit of paper and rip it up. That's why I asked you to write it down, not so that you can dwell on it. You've probably spent enough time in your life worrying and thinking about the things that you don't like about yourself, the way you look, the way you are. Forget about it, rip it up, it will give you a great feeling to kind of just rip through those problems and put them straight in the bin. So step two is that you're going to write down a list of three things again. This time they're going to be three things that you like about yourself. And I bet you you find this harder than the last time because people can always think of things they hate about themselves. But it's really hard to think about your good points and your good personality traits and the positive aspects of you. It also kind of makes you feel a little bit braggy if you say these things to people, well, this is what I like about myself, but it doesn't make you feel that way if you tell them the things that you dislike about yourself. So I'm going to tell you, as I kind of mentioned the ones that I don't like about myself, the first thing I like about myself is I really like my hair. It's just something that I've always kind of had and it makes me feel more comfortable in being me. I like having long hair, I like having curly hair, I like having blonde hair and that's just a part of me that I think most of the time, probably not right now because I've got roots actually, but most of the time I think your hair is a nice part of the way that you look. The second thing I like about myself, and I haven't actually sat and thought about these things prior to as they're coming out of my mouth, so it is hard to think of three things that you like about yourself. Um, I like the fact that I work hard and that everything pretty much that I have now has been through hard work and effort by myself and by my boyfriend and even though we've got really supportive families, we've kind of accumulated everything that we've got now for ourselves. And I'm really proud of us both for doing that. And it's just through hard work and effort and it's kind of paid off in the long run. So that's something that I like about myself and I'm proud of. 
And finally, the third thing I like about myself. Hmm. The third thing I like about myself is that I don't judge people before I get to know them. And I think quite a few people do do this. Um, but I really like to give all sorts of people a chance. And I think I kind of judge people quite well. Not in a negative way. I know that sounds very really weird, but I try and get to know somebody before I judge them. But I also get quite a good first impression of people as well. Like I'm not often wrong if I do kind of get a bad, bad if I do kind of get a bad vibe about somebody. It often comes true later on in the process of knowing them, if that makes sense. And if I get a good vibe from them, it's often because they're just a really genuine, nice person that. I'm going to click with personally, it doesn't mean the person that I spoke of before isn't a nice person, it might just mean I didn't click with them. But I still like to give people time to get to know them before I judge them and don't make snap decisions on people like I don't like that girl because oh she looks that way or I don't like that guy because he acts that way. So those are my three things. So now you're going to take that list of the three things that you like and you're going to put it somewhere that you can see it. This could be on your bedroom wall, it could be right next to your bed, on your bedside table, or if you just kind of want to keep it to yourself and you don't want anyone else looking at it, just maybe put it in your bedside drawer, put it in your bag or in a safe place and then keep it to yourself. But make sure that you look at it whenever you feel down or you feel a bit shy or underconfident because you can think, yeah, I do like those things about myself, I'm a good person and there are really nice points about me and you can look back on those and you can forget the negatives. I'm sorry there's a constant dog in front of me, that's probably like really annoying. You can forget the negatives and just look at the positives. So the next part, only you know your insecurities on the inside. It's probably only you that knows what's on that list that you ripped up earlier. People don't see the things you do as much as you see them. Everything you see wrong with yourself is magnified like a hundred percent like if you have bad skin yeah people might comment on it but it looks a hundred times worse to you if you feel like you're overweight it probably bothers you a hundred times more than it bothers anybody else so really think about that and internalize that and just think I can only kind of portray positiveness if I feel positive about myself. So just constantly think of the good points to you. And remember that if you're in a social situation, maybe you're talking to people you don't know, or you're even in like your friendship group, they don't know exactly how you're feeling. So if you project a positive attitude, then people will be more positive towards you. That's not to say don't talk about your personal feelings and if you're feeling down to family and friends, that's totally different. But on a confidence level for the people that maybe don't know you as well, you can really like put out a positive vibe and then they will feel more positive towards you. So the next step, when you're at a social situation, go and speak to somebody that you maybe wouldn't go and speak to. I've had to deal with this quite a lot in the you know recent months, years, by going to different events. I meet people that I've never met before. I can walk into a room, there could be like 50 people in there, and I've never spoken to one of them in my life. So you have to start chatting to people, otherwise you're gonna be standing on your own, and that is the kind of like most confidence-crushing thing, I think, is when you're just standing there and you think, I don't know anyone, no one's talking to me, but guarantee there's someone else in that room that feels that way. Go and speak to them, they'll be so happy um, that you've made the first move. One of the things that I've noticed the most through school, through meeting new people in my kind of adult life, in my 20s, is that shyness can very often, very easily be mistaken for bitchiness. Um, and I've met people before where I thought, they're really off, they they didn't say a word to me, that's a bit bizarre. I haven't been rude to them or I haven't said anything horrible to them, but sometimes that person is actually just shy and they're not actually sure themselves how to start a conversation with you, whether to start a conversation with you. And the same can be said, especially for me, and I know that I've done it before, I've kind of looked at someone and they look back at me, you've given each other like an awkward smile, and then you haven't actually approached that person to chat to them. So they probably think, well, she's a bit stuck up, she thinks she's something special, why doesn't she want to talk to me? But it's actually because you don't know if the person's feeling the same way and it gets so awkward. So for this step, what I would suggest is just literally go and have a chat with that person. Nine times out of 10, they'll probably be lovely. You might make a friend that you just chat to that evening and you never hear from again. Or you could make a friend for life, you just don't know. Um, and yeah, if it's that 1% of per, if it, and yeah, if it's that kind of 1% in probably like a 100, that turns around and is rude to you, 
walk away. What's the worst that's happened? You've realised that this person is rude, doesn't want to speak to you, fine, brush yourself off, move on. You know that you're a good person You and there's no reason for somebody to act that way. So you can forget about them and move on to the next person. Just be your kind, friendly, charming self. And my last tip is fake it till you make it. Now, I'm not telling you to be a fake person, pretend to be somebody that you're not, you know, create a fake character for yourself, a pretend name and a pretend address and everything. Basically, what I'm saying is become the confident you. That even though you're still going to be yourself, you can still kind of like pretend that you're in an acting role to a certain extent and you can just portray the confident side of yourself. Why don't you sit and think about a few different questions that you could ask people. People love to answer questions about themselves and talk about themselves in general and if they're a nice person and worth talking to they'll ask you questions back and before you know it you're having a chat with somebody in a conversation and like I said you could make a really great friend. Even though you're not going to pretend to be somebody else you can kind of just fake your confidence until before you know it it's coming naturally to you. So I will just say one more thing before I go, make sure to smile and kind of stand up straight and tall and proud and you don't have to walk around with your nose in the air and look snooty and snobbish but looking sad and looking slouchy and really uncomfortable makes people around you feel uncomfortable as well so you might find that that's one of the reasons that perhaps people aren't coming up to chat to you as much. And yeah, there are all my top tips. As I said, I'm going to be working on these alongside with you. I'm going to put the list up on my wall. And even though you may believe that the people that you see on YouTube are mega, mega confident, mega, mega happy, everything's perfect, everything's lovely. That is not how it is at all. Everybody has their insecurities. Everyone has their down days and feels bad about themselves. And I'm pretty sure that most people that you meet, more often than not, feel uncomfortable in different situations. So you're not alone, you're not the only one. I really hope that some of you can take these tips on board and work alongside me with them. Please comment in the box below to let me know whether it's, you know, today if anything's helped you instantly or come back in a month's time and tell me how you've got on with this. I would love, love, love to know. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more how-tos, then please press the like button and thumbs it up and make sure that you're subscribed. The button is somewhere around my face. I don't know where because they always move it. Um, so yeah, all that remains for me to say is thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Be confident, be brave and I'll be back with another video soon. Speak to you later. Bye.